Welcome to Beer Disciples. I'm Ross Quintana. And I'm Richard Callahan. And it's never felt so good to be Ross Quintana <laughs> and Richard Callahan. <laughs> That's right. We have a special guest here, a very esteemed guest known as Firestone Walker Abacus, 2011 Reserve Series Barley Wine. Yeah, we're... We're very excited about this, super highly rated, not just in uh, uh, Beer Advocate and Rate Beer, but other people who've tried it yeah. uh, online and just... just a, lot of, a lot of hype behind this beer. We hope it lives up to its name. We, we're coming off of a huge uh, A-plus from both of us rating of uh, Hair of the Dog's Doggy Claws. So yeah. to go to another uh, impressive barley wine, I'm hoping this to be is, blown away. This is rated a little higher than that, so it's like that was already an A-plus for me, so I'm like, okay, bring it on. Beat yeah. it, and I will be that much happier as a human being on and this planet. This will be our first Firestone Walker tasting. Yep. I uh, haven't both of tried us. The Firestone Walker. I've heard a lot about them. I've passed them up, and they've got a little price tag on them, so that keeps keeps yeah. the children away, right? So, <laughs> uh, and this one, we start off in the box now. Now with wine, it's bad if the wine's in the box. With beer, if it's in a box, it's probably pretty badass. Can I say badass on YouTube? I think so. I'm pretty sure I can. Beep. You just did. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> so let's uh, gently crack this baby open. I mean, the box itself is impressive, and it gives the whole rundown. So a little bit about stats. this. Firestone Walker Brewing Company. They're out of uh, Paso Robles, California. California. And Styles American Barley Wine. ABV's 13 on this. IBU's uh, 42. And I apologize, normally I have a breakdown of all the malts and hops, and I believe that was the, their website. Actually, on this, the link wasn't working at all, so that was kind of a little bit of a bummer, no information on that. But top beers in this style are Hair of the Dog Dave and Firestone Walker Abacus itself. <laughs> when a beer talks about itself in the third person, you know it's impressive. <laughs> um, so, suggested serving temp, 45 to 50. Uh, I'll read the description real quick. It says, Abacus is barrel-aged barley wine. Four barrels in total were selected for the blend. The base of this year's offering was aged in Heaven Hill bourbon barrel for three years. The resulting beer is strong, yet extremely elegant and smooth. Big, boozy bourbon and American oak aromas combined with soft chocolate, malty undertones. Complex malt flavors framed in oak with hints of dark chocolate, vanilla, tobacco coconut and just a touch of dark cherry my mouth is watering i know i already feel satisfied <laughs> um so nothing to it on this but to do it rate beer has this as 100 overall 99 for the style out of only 153 ratings because you just can't get this or many people might not drop the big bucks on it what to, was the beer advocate rating on? uh beer advocate was a out of 267 so same thing not a lot of ratings um Quick little backstory on this. Apparently, in their anniversary blend number 10, which I believe was the first one, they made a whole bunch of individual uh, brews that were going to be then blended to make this big anniversary. But what happened was, I believe that they uh, offered some to people probably locally or whatever, and they liked it so much they begged for it to be bottled. It had a serious following. It was just, available on tap only at the brew pub, I believe. Just the individual ones that were going to go into this were so good that people wanted them and so they put them out and, and i believe you said it was the first year that they put this in the bottle so this is the yeah this is the first uh i believe it says uh on here yeah number right, this is number one so it's the first in this number one the first release well bring it on bring the heat let's crack it up and in this case uh definitely i'm going to have at this price oh yeah both glasses let's take a look at it <laughs> okay so I'm going to start with my favorite tasting glass first, and that's going to be the 25th anniversary Sam Adams. And let's take a look at this baby. Oh, did you see the smoking gun? Yeah. All right. Wow. Beautiful caramel color. Wow. That really reminds me of uh, Doggy Claws. Doesn't that color? It's very similar. The Doggy, Doggy Claws, Claws was, was a lighter. little... It was lighter. This is and more... it was more opake. This Once is, we added the second yeah, part. This is darker, definitely darker, and wow. it's what a beautiful color. Uh, very uh, caramely color. Like, 
The head's more soapy than that one was, and I'm going to leave you enough, so I'm only going to do a little here. Just wanted to see it in there. Yeah, you can see some pretty good action. All right. If I have to, I'll talk you off over here. Okay, I think you might have to. Yeah, I think you might want me to. Let's get some oh? agitation in there. Yeah, they should be able to see Wow. the super cascading we right get, here. We didn't get to see any of that in the other ones. Wow, it's still going. Yeah, this is impressive. One so. of the slowest we've seen, I think. It's, so I'm gonna give it an A plus on the on the look. It's just such a beautiful color. Um, it's I got so much depth. There. It's so, got so much depth. You just don't you don't see it very often like this. Yeah, I'm gonna go five on that. The nose on this is just amazing. It's uh, as it warms up, it's changing, but uh, big coconut notes, big bourbon notes. Uh, vanilla toffee. It's all the in color's there. amazing. Actually, when I swirled it, it was like the most rich, you know, revitalization of those bubbles. Look at me. Look at it. So you're looking at it, and then you give it a little swirl, and you just, can see the oil sitting on the top. Look at this. Okay, this one, right? There's nothing there. Then you give it. Do you see that color that yeah. just comes back out the side? It's yeah. gorgeous up against the wall of the glass. Nice coconut, caramel, oh, toffee. Amazing smelling beer. Mm. Shall we? Let's taste it. I can't wait. Mm. Wow. Oh. That's good in the mouth. What an amazing blend. It's so... It's sweet. Uh, there's a lot of toffee flavors in there. Um, uh, vanilla, bourbon... Those are all very prevalent. Perfect carbonation. Oh, yeah. Usually these barley wines don't have enough carbonation, so they taste flat. This one actually has it, and it gives that kind of excitement in the mouth it's once so, you're drinking it. It's so perfectly carbonated, you could literally slam this beer. It's, it feels like the carbonation is, like, smaller. Like, it's smaller. Bottles. It's almost like stinging gently in your mouth. That's an interesting observation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of just being like gassy, it's like it's just very. It's got uh, sweet barley, obviously, is, is there. And then it goes to the the bourbon notes are very prevalent. Vanilla, uh, then it fades to coconut. And then the majority of the taste, I believe, is coconut. It, coconut seems to be the most memorable in your mouth. Yeah. This, what's crazy is I thought that the, um, I thought that the malt body was going to be more syrupy. I thought it was going to be overwhelming, and it actually isn't. It's, it's very much there, but that carbonation keeps it lively, it's, and it it seems almost more drinkable than somewhere you'd think like, oh, this is. This is so probably serving. the most balanced beer I've ever had because it's at such extremes, with the ABV, with the barley wine, with the aging process, and yeah, just to have look such how little the bubbles are. I and, told you they're little bubbles. And to just have such amazing balance, uh, in in a beer, this is. A very well-crafted beer. You're almost well, getting a little roast on the back end, aren't you? Yeah, I can, yeah. But it's not a dark roast. It's like a medium roast mm -hmm. that's very it's, pleasing. It's like before it gets to the darker malts. Yeah. It's as dark as you could go without being too roasty. It's, you know what's funny about this beer? You know what it reminds me of? I mean, not exactly, but kind of. Is Remember that Cuvée series we had from Southern Tier? Yeah, yeah. But remember how we thought it felt flat and it was overly syrupy? Like, But you could see, but it had like that nougat and it was supposedly... Yeah. This is what I thought it was going to be, but reading the description. And this is why I feel like mm -hmm. it should have been, but it wasn't. It was like a two-year-old version, like if you'd let this just sit and it stopped being good. That was what it was. Yeah, I'll tell you what, um, guys, if you're out there and you've got this beer, it's ready now. There's no need to age it. It is perfect right now. Um, I'm going to tell you already. I'm going to jump ahead. I'm going to give this an A+. Plus. It is, uh, it's one of the most drinkable beers I've ever had. The mouthfeel is amazing. Incredible. Um, I just, uh, <clears throat> this might be too much information, but I burped a little bit up, and it was all bourbon, but in a good way. It was, it's just an impressive. It's like take a bite of chicken and have some bourbon chicken right in your mouth. It's an impressive, <laughs> impressive beer. Now, this is definitely a good showing from Firestone Walker. Yeah. To me, really, the carbonation, look at those little bubbles. It was, It's like this strange carbonation. When do you like, wow, the carbonation really made this? Not because there's gas in there, but because it actually 
is even different. Oh, but it has to do, well, uh, the carbonation is a product of the yeast, and they used a specific uh, English or British style yeast for this one, and I'll bet that has something to do with it. Tell me it isn't almost stinging your mouth a little bit. It almost reminds me of, like, the heat of cayenne pepper, like how it's not, like, it just feels like all these little hmm. stings. That's, it, that's what I'm getting in the mechanics of how that, not in a spicy way, but just that carbonation action is just wonderful. I love it. Hmm. Um, yeah, the bourbon notes, everything. The, and I, I was actually thinking the bourbon might be a little bit overdone, but it's not not at all. Yeah, it's so, usually it's, it's, it's another really element. Slight. It In here it feels like they crafted it in instead yeah. of like, oh, there it is. Here's the beer and bourbon. Mm -hmm. But in this it feels like we meant to do that. It's yeah. exactly how much we said and what we wanted. Yeah, impressive showing from Firestone Walker. I'm immediately a fan. Yeah, Chris at Beer Geek Nation gave this an A+, and uh, I, I respect what he has to say. He's tried a lot of good beers and done a lot of good beer reviews. So He put this in uh, his top five, I think, of all beers he's ever tried. Yeah, and, and since he's tried beers we can't get, I already was excited going into it, and now just thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, some top local options you can get Hair of the Dog, Doggy Claws, which we had the other day, another A+. Plus. I think you got the and last one it. in town, so I wouldn't be putting that out there. Yeah, because if I see it, I'll buy that again. Um, which is 16 on Rate Beer, 20 on Beer Advocate. This is, uh, I believe, 17 on Rate Beer and number one on Beer Advocate that we're trying right here. Lost Abbey the Angel Share Bourbon Barrel is number three on Rate Beer. Victory Old Horizontal, which I have one of those. Just picked that up today, too, is 15th and 37th on Rate Beer. So uh, it is the time for barley wines. It's getting hotter out there. It's... Uh, it's uh, it's nice to enjoy something uh, that's high in alcohol, nice and malty. Uh, if you decide you don't want to go the light route, uh, this is really exceptional. And I'm, I'm going to say this is the perfect beer. This is as good as it gets for this style, yeah. uh, which makes me really look forward to their Imperial Stout because that is my favorite style. I'll definitely try it. For me, i got to tell you, this is an A+. Doggy Claws is an A+. I'm going to have doggy claws, and I love coconut, but it's almost edged out. They're neck and neck for me. I don't discount doggy claws, because to me, that was mind-blowing. And uh, and this one is good, too. So they're both A-plus for me. Wow, that 13% is hitting the old noggin right now. Yeah, kicks it, it kicks in quick, that's <laughs> Yeah, for sure. it's like, did I drink three margaritas? Because <laughs> I don't remember the first thing. It wasn't there. Um, anyway, you can check us out on Facebook. Join the conversation. Uh, at facebook.com forward slash beer disciples. Um, if you got a suggestion, you can throw it up to the beer disciples at gmail.com. Let us know if you want to do a beer trade or whatnot. We'd love you uh, Midwesterners and East Coast beer guys to send us up. Let's do something. I haven't done that yet, but i um, down. Let's trade some beer. Yeah, we've got some stuff. I can get a lot of stuff here. Yeah. So. We got the Abyss. Yeah, 2010 Abyss. I was thinking that. I can get that and, and a bunch of other stuff. So a uh, hair of the dog is really yeah. incredible. So um, you probably can't get this around town because I've only seen it in one place. And guess who bought the last one? Zzz. <laughs> <laughs> All right, till next time, we will say cheers. cheers.